I found out that YouTube has given someone their 20 million subscriber award. Well, they ignored me. <laughs> After 10 million, YouTube don't really hand them out to anybody, except if you're Marvel. Now you made it personal. Where's mine, bro? Where's Jax? Where's Marx? I eagerly await your response. And they never responded. <laughs> I'm a 3D artist, and apparently, I'm just making everybody's play button now. You know what, YouTube? This is your problem. I'm out. I'm done. No more. Well, when you put it that way. Anyways, for the first play button, I start with a square base and throw a disembodied hand on top as a placeholder. Yeah, let's just say I didn't go to college for this, okay? This bad boy's from Markiplier. He hit 20 million subscribers, what, like five years ago? Oh, that's like before half my viewers were even born. This guy's been on YouTube since the Cretaceous period, but in all those years, his most viewed, most classic video of all time was- Meow. 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 <laughs> I was, uh, it was Five Nights at Freddy's. I, I don't want to know what that stuff is. Anyways, the plan is to make an animatronic hand from the game, holding up the mustache from his logo. You know, maybe I should have gone to college for this stuff. Well, I would make an animatronic hand if there weren't so many I could just steal for free. I looked around for a while. Good stuff, bad stuff. What? Who made this? I have so much respect for you. What does this one look like? The doctor from TF2. So many questions and so few answers. I ended up picking this model. It looks, uh, gr great. I mean, it's got a good balance of complexity. I, I think I'm gonna name him Matt after Matt Pat. You know, the guy who made a eh, few videos about FNAF. Hello, internet! Welcome to game the- <coughs> Oh, my voice, how does he do that? Now, these guys in the comments are saying the file's completely broken. That's probably not- <laughs> Don't listen to them, Matt. You, you can't believe everything you read on the internet anyway. Yeah, that's the most broken file I've ever seen in my life, to be honest with you. Turns out Matt was signed up for my, uh, voluntary limb donation service. Look, we take a little off the back, a little off the- It's just a hand now. Put the hand on the- Matt, you were like a brother to me. I I'll never forget your- Anyways, I have a hand, but I do not have a mustache. I've tried. Believe me. So how do we make one? Well, the first step is to- And wow, just like that, we got a perfectly good mustache. That's crazy. Now this award needs to be just as good as something YouTube would make, if not better. But right now, it's, uh... Uh, it's getting there. I didn't want to admit it, but there's a certain part of this that might be throwing the whole design off. I'm not gonna say what it is. It's the base. The base is throwing the design off. The hand is perfectly fine. It's the base that's a problem. I will make this hand work. You understand me? It's gonna work. So the company that makes these is called Society Awards, and their bases are always very classy and normal. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. Two. With headphones. So I ended up with this circular base, but Matt's hand over here, God bless his soul, it's not working out. It's like seeing an Overwatch player outdoors. It just doesn't fit. I don't know what to tell you. What? Uh, how, how'd that get installed? I don't know where that- Now, watch closely as I fix the entire model with a single button. Huh, they weren't kidding. This thing really is broken. I gave it the famous Daniel smoothing treatment. Wow, it is so smooth now. Look at that. But something just looks off. Maybe the background's bad. Next. No. Maybe. So anyway, there's a skeleton and a glob, and if I change the color of the glob, it stands out a lot better. And finally, I guess the mustache shouldn't just be floating magically in midair. So I did some very minor cosmetic surgery, and look, now he's even got a peace sign to add that character to the trophy. Dude, isn't that just the voice trophy, but, like, with a mustache instead of a microphone? What'd you just say? I mean, uh, that, that, that. Uh, he had to go for some reason. That's weird. Get this garbage out of the way. It's time for the real play buttons to start. All right, so first we got to get our brainstorming in. I always like to do in-depth market research, which involves asking my viewers for their ideas and then doing that exactly. I'm using the homie Milanote for this. It's basically a digital whiteboard where you can scheme up all your, uh, creative projects and easily collect all your notes, projects, images, all in the same convenient spot. All right, next one is the mood board. I, uh, I'm i thinking existential horror would be a good theme for this one. What do you guys think? Cool thing about Milanote is the drawing feature so I can really take my inner thoughts and just uh, see that, see what I did there? That's called staying organized. You ever, you ever heard of that? 
try Milanote today by clicking on the link in the description. It's completely free and there's no time limit. So for this play button, I'm gonna need a square base, which can easily be accomplished by deleting the cube and then adding a cube, perfect. And finally, we add a disembodied eyeball to use as a placeholder. You know, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Maybe it's just me though. This one's for Jacksepticeye, whose logo is this sentient eyeball named Sam. We can't just have a floating sphere though, so I started sculpting something to contain the eyeball. Now, sculpting is one of my strongest suits. I mean, what can I say? It's just always come naturally to me. That looks like a wet paper towel if it was drawn on cardboard by a two-year-old with an old Sharpie and I think I can work with it. Now, the thing you gotta understand about awards is that they are all the exact same thing. There's a whole world of materials out there, but what do they use? Metal and resin. Oh, wow, you can cast things. Blah. I'm so tired, this video's taking forever. Like, what if I just found a rock or something and just kinda threw it on there? Wait, is it just me or does that actually look kinda good? You know what? How much worse can it get? Hopefully Jack doesn't mind a rock on his play button. Currently, Sam is just a sphere, but in real life, eyes come in all different colors. Green, blue, rainbow, that's, this is a contact store, isn't it? Look, that stuff is unprofessional and unrealistic. For my eye color, I simply went with green anodized titanium, crystallized around an onyx gemstone. Simple as that, really. Hey Sam, look buddy, I gotta do some surgery. Don't worry about it though, it's a quick and painless procedure where I cut out a giant hole with a machete and then carefully insert the eye mechanism. It's in backwards. It's, there we go, almost had it. And just like that, it's perfect, right Sam? Sam, where, oh, <laughs> that's cute. He's rolling away. That's not gonna happen again, is it? Huh? I bet you feel pretty stupid right now. In the logo, it seems like he actually moves using his optic nerve, which is obviously way too graphic and disturbing for a YouTube play button, but it is perfect for a Daniel Craft play button. Am I right or am I right? It looks even worse than I thought, which is just fantastic. I just imagine him walking around on it like he's a snake or something, but something is still missing, so I tried my best to figure it out. Now, if you look at it closely, you'll see these veins known as retinal blood vessels. I made some out of gold real quick and looped them around to hold the sphere in place. Try rolling away now, idiot, you can't. Okay, don't get mad at me, but we gotta do the surgery again. The texture for the titanium, it's like three pixels wide. It's getting desperate. We're talking Nintendo Switch resolution out here, just not acceptable for a prof <laughs> professional product such as this. See, look, isn't that better, Sam? I, I knew you'd like it. What's that? No, I can't release your family. We already talked about this. Anyway, I did some final touches like a nameplate, these gold flakes on the rock. Bada bing, bada boom. Sam, blink if you're still alive. Okay, Sam isn't talking to me anymore, but uh, the play button looks great, so that's a success in my book. I started the project for my final play button, but you'll notice the default cube is actually still here. Now, I don't have anything against the default cube, but I'm gonna run it through an industrial grade shredder until it's ground into a fine paste, freeze it, and 30 minutes later, I mean, it speaks for itself. Tell me that's not the best cube you've ever seen, okay? I dare you. Now, Dan TDM's logo is a big diamond, but I can't just copy that exact. Already did, moving on. The most confusing part is this base. It wouldn't be nearly weird enough for me to just leave it square. So at times like this, I gotta remember to stick to my self-care motto. Live, laugh, steal other people's work. Let's see what they made. Bro, no way, they made a steampunk play button? Wow, that's so cool. Man, Dan TDM sure looks different without blue hair. After some deep research experimentation, I have concluded hexagon base. <laughs> I would probably just pour this diamond out of resin, which means I could also dye it using this powder stuff. So if we extract a gradient from the logo, boom, look. It broke. Boom, look at that. It's exactly like the logo. I am so devoid of ideas. Wait, no, I got one. We could put little LEDs in the... Yeah, there could be a rave mode. Imagine having to plug in your YouTube play button, by the way. It, it could charge your phone too. I, this thing can do everything. Way better than the Marvel one. Can that charge your phone? Uh, I don't think so. You know what's crazy? Despite everything, it still looks too plain. So here's a quick montage of the different things I tried. Fool diamond. Fractured diamond. Minecraft diamond. Red diamond, AI generated diamond. What? That's a child. In the end, I tried like 12 more things and I hate to say it, but I neglected my most genius idea yet. Hexagon base. But what if hexagon smaller? I just tweeted these renders at them. I need all of you to go like that post. They aren't going to see this if you don't blow up this tweet, which is fine if that happens, but I mean, it charges your phone, what else can I say? Congratulations on 20 million, you guys deserved this like five years ago, and me personally, I'm just glad they're done. Roll it. But why is there a robot camp? No, 
Mom, it's not a robot. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic. Man, I sure am thirsty after all that editing. If only there was something that could fix that. This video is partnered with Liquid IV. They sell drink mixes with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, hydrating you even faster than water alone. When I'm hard at work sculpting the worst thing you've ever seen, I gotta make sure to stay hydrated. I mean, come on. Thankfully, Liquid IV makes it easy. Simply tear, pour, shake, and drink, and they come packed with vitamins. Click the link in the description or use my code DANIELK to get 20% off your order plus free shipping.